Welcome back, everybody. I'm certain we're going to play some more Battle Brothers with no shields. Doing the Legends mods, of course. We left off. We have one more undead location to clear out, and this might be our guy. I kind of want to just poke around towns here and see what's going on as well, though. Wouldn't mind doing some missions, saving up some money. I think we already kind of cleared everything out here that I might need. We're doing okay on tools. Um, let's go through real quick. Should have done this off camera, I apologize, but... Should have, uh... Prepared some of these things and sold them. That's not worth it. Okay. I probably should repair some of these armors, but I don't know how much of them I really want to use. So... Probably just break some of these down. Many tools I'll get from that. Because I, I feel like we have a lot of these kind of pieces. I have a lot of pieces and parts. So don't, yeah, don't repair that. Break it down. There we go. You didn't think I was going to notice. I got you. And then, like these things, what are we even. Uh, they're just taking up space around doing anything. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Nothing. Okay, great. This town has a lot of wealth, and I don't really know. Hello. You can buy wolves? gotta be better right it, it basically has the same description but if you hover over the town it says 100 percent 108 percent wealth which is far and above a lot of other places this one's 130 this one is 96 but like it's sorry my cat's being weird that's uh that's pretty high though i'm not really like why are things gone so well for that town i don't know I got some jobs here. I'm not sure I want to do them. Any good uh, rumors, though? Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Anything great here? Probably not. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these oath keepers. One day I'm just gonna have to buy the bolt and buy them. Like they're really good. But I'm, there, it, nothing's that good in Battle Brothers. There's got to be a stipulation, right? It's got to be nothing sensible. Okay, you're not buying it. So much money. I mean, here's a bit expensive. I think we're good on food. What are these jobs about? Uh, Eisenberg. Let's see where that is. of here. Okay. That's... I mean, look at that. I was kind of heading that direction anyways. Where's Eisenberg now? Three days. Where's this thing now? Did I make it up? Is that not what it's called at all? Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Let's go here and deal with these bandits, then. kind of want to go up in that direction anyway, since it works out. No, I, I, no mind for gambling. Uh, nobody there. Well, a leader might have something, but... Really, what this did is just weaken this place, because I'm sure they just came from here. Oh, yeah, terribly. Look, they don't see a chance. They are in a hill, though, so we're probably going to get screwed by RNG. Yeah, look at that. Holy crap, did I call it. Oh. That's a fancy looking man. There's no good spot to stand. I should have stood here, I guess. I think we're just going to have to climb the mountain anyway, so...
because we're just gonna have to put up with this BS. Luckily, they have a 5% chance to hit. Holy crap, I'm not even kidding. They do have a 5% chance to hit. There's still 19 of them, though. Something to keep in mind, I suppose. What are you meowing for? I just got shot in the what? The neck? Chest. Okay. Let's put you there, I guess. hate when you get screwed over my map RNG like this. Probably my biggest pet peeve in this entire game is this one that does it this to you. Sit down. You know, I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes. Did they want to jump on my lap before I started recording? Oh, heck no. Heck no. Alright, we'll just make that spot very dangerous. What does it mean? Gotta wait. Too many people in the way. Now we can actually see what we're dealing with a little bit. This guy's gonna throw this to break us break a shield, idiot. We haven't got none. Nothing. Look at that. Idiot. Right in the head. It's pretty meaty down here. I think we'll push up through there pretty easily. This guy. That's... Oh, he really wanted the archer. He's not gonna live enough, long enough for it to work, but, you know, whatever. better position in a second. Dead. Like he never existed. Oh, speaking of never existing. Right in the head? You caught it with your face? That's a terrible idea. in a good spot anymore. He wants to run. He's pretty much done. It's really that backline people that I'm kind of concerned about. But you can't trance uphill. Let's just wait on you then. I don't think you're doing much for me. It's dodgy, but not dodgy enough. Backline people it's me up over there. Get you in a better position. Up. Oh. Poke you somewhere not nice. Uh should have kept you there and rotated them down. Oh well, it's a little too late for that kind of talk now. Wanted. I think actually no, all those people are dead, so not really. I do want to do this though. Let's get 
you rather. It's not not my favorite way to solve that problem, but I guess. Ooh, we could have stabbed him. Didn't even think about that. Oh, just put him down. How much damage was that? Puncture just says killed. I wish it told me how much damage it actually did, but I'd be a lot because I think he more or less had full health. I feel like everyone needs heavy armor, even if they have nimble. Just kind of not what I wanted from life. So we can get people out of the way. So about that jerk. Good kill. Good, solid kill. Oh, just wrecking them. Damn bushes in the way. It's a damn bush, isn't it? Get that kill. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I still can't. Okay, that's annoying. What, what is this mess? These fortifications are a mess. Good hit. Just murder him. Let's go. These people are going to start breaking. We need to push through. We can't. He covered. He still wants out. He's done. I, I don't blame them. He might bleed to death now. Which would be really funny. Fully stop that guy, right? It's still in the way. Okay. He's gone. Don't blame him. Do a triple. Oh, wonderful. Alright. Only one gets away. Beat up from this than I would have liked. It's alright, we'll just have to sit and repair. NBD. Somebody in there can actually do something with this. There we go. It's up. I'm not expecting to get anything too great. We didn't even get a level out of it. Oh, some iron. It's, I think that's one of the rarest things to find. Some things we can break down, though. Let's go ahead and we will get... Hold on, as soon as I find the right button. Okay, we'll go ahead and get paid for that. Let's go ahead and... Break some of these things down. Should be worth keeping. I think it's gonna be worth repairing. That might be worth repairing. Put that stuff down. That's probably worth repairing. There you go. We'll try that. And then, uh, why don't we, why don't we camp a little? It's not very often we actually camp a bit. Got people salvaging. Let's see here. 
I feel like we definitely need to get more tent upgrades, you know? Just one person doing it. Not Leon the Sturdy, he would be really good at it. Excellent. We're going to be doing that for a bit. At least slow down tool usage on some of these repairs. There you go. We have repaired a bit. We have got some food, trained a little, healed up a little. I mean, we still have our injuries. That's okay. I think we we don't have any injuries after that series. Let's go up here and check out this undead because. I really want to burn a place down. I don't think that's so scary. I think that's so scary at all. Yeah, we got a Winslow Mudo. Vinzel Mudo. I don't know what I don't know what that is. There's one here. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see if I can spot the necromancer. Yeah. So you know we're about to do some long range snipering shit here. Not bad. 66 is apparently worse. Yeah, okay, we should probably look into that. Sorry, right, we can handle that. Should have done the uh, decreased range defense. Jeez. Get wrecked. Is Gasper with the drop. You love to see it. I just gotta do something about whatever the hell this thing is. You're horrified. I know I've seen that before, but I can't think of what it is off the top of my head. Protect the Muther. Teacher? I don't really know. Ah, he wants more. He's back to vengeance. So, okay. Soften him up a bit.
Well, we got our own springy boy. What do you think about that? Hoping we can at least hit one of those guys. she could kill him and then you can move up and try to hit him so let's do that so my chance is 42 rock nine lives let's go you're not in the fight still it upsets me because you're really good at what you do try to sneak you around that way ah very nice then you could have easily gone through. Oops. My bad. Sorry. Pop him. Oh, shove me closer. Shove me, shove me closer, da Daddy. I don't know. Listen to me. Your head's off. You are dead. Good work. It's very nice. I should have kept that open. My bad. Dr. Sand down. You got you got your soul screamed out of you, so you should probably relax a bit. Does that make me proud? Sorry. Everything up there is kinda of done, so let's just end it. Oh, we got three levels out of that. Surprising and nice. Look at that treasure. Look at that treasure. Look at that gold. Look at that bread. Let's take a look at these levels, though, huh? Let's take a look at these levels. Mr. Sturdy here. Remind me, do you have any debuffs? Nope. Sturdy's just kicking ass and taking names, and you gotta love him for it. Let's take that plus two. Let's take this defense. I wouldn't mind a bit more health, not going to lie. It's a pretty good resolve roll, though, too. I mean, he's already at 48, so I'm pretty happy with that. Don't care about his fatigue, that's fine. Let's go ahead and take that health, we'll get you over 100, which I think is very meaningful. Movable object, 10% of your combined fatigue modifiers. That should be a lot. It's melee defense. Nice. Getting you up to 33, that feels pretty good. Wouldn't really like to do more for your defense, but I didn't, so here we are. Here we are. We're, we're building you to be heavy. Let's go. Oh, look at that. 84. You love to see it. Um, let's take that too. That's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good range defense. And that's something we need to I really hope, I really hope the next um Crisis is a noble war, and we could just destroy. Just really want to destroy people. Dog mastery, huh? I can order dogs? Oh, shit. Breed dogs and like recipe and crafting tent to breed dogs? Oh. Okay, I didn't realize that was a thing. Dog recipe. Way with them. This is going to take a lot of skill points, though, to do all these things. Grants each dog you unleash Colossus Fortified Mind and Underdog? Holy moly. Have I screwed up by not getting this? Dogs can instinctively identify a pack leader. I'll just have to let you become the leader of the pack. Unlocks the ability to store an additional dog item in your bag to use. Use an additional dog item? You mean like an additional dog? 
Or is there dog items I don't understand? Dog master. Your way with animals extends far beyond. Okay. By spending one item of food, you can make dogs flee from battle. Food items chosen random does not work if you have less than 25 food. Okay, that one's some silly. I can live without that one, at least. So it's like we need to get maybe not brownie, but like full object. Muscular. There's some points there. I wanna wanna be beefy AF. Um, of course battle forged. We still have a fair amount of points for other things. If we do that. Mace mastery, so we can make you a little bit more fatigue ne neutral would be nice. I'd like to get you some heavier armor though too. A chance to stun could save somebody's life. Very nice. You have a dog because you came with the dog. It's just how life goes, you know. I kind of like, I don't want hammer mastery so you can really destroy armor, but I also want you to be able to get things like steel brow. That's a little disappointing to see. Um. Let's, uh, let's get you the defense then, I guess. You're a little beat up, friend. We're all a little beat up, actually. Ah, oh, father. What a man, this guy. Look at him shine. Christ, your health is so terrible, though. This dude's not going to make it any better. Ugh. Glide through a battle like a leaf in a stream. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Not Spire. This is technically a flail, right? Yeah, we could get you flail mastery. It's not like you have a lot of fatigue. Thresh? I don't think I have Thresh. Lash and heal, ignore defense, bonuses of shield. Oh. That's kind of nice, actually. Hmm. I'm getting low on things to give you. Or points, I mean. Yeah, we're not going to have a lot left. God, I really wish you had a Colossus. Your health is here. But we got your Battle Forge. We got your Brow. I mean, that's, that's definitely something. Even even things like said fast might help with your fatigue more than other things anyways. Because you swing twice, I feel like that's even more useful. I think we go crazy, maybe get something like Headhunter. You don't have an increased chance to hit Head, do you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, maybe we should be getting Headhunter. I will forget by the time you level up again, but it's okay. Let's heal up a little bit before we walk into something random. <clears throat> Oh, the Undin Trophy, yes, of course. That we just kind of randomly discovered that, and I was like, what? Um, a sergeant. We recruit the most talented we can find. Okay. Increase, which means you have to pay for contracts. Three star talents. Three. With a three star talent at three different attributes. Travel and... Consider buying the pre-signed contracts equipment for your retinue. Um, okay. Now let's do this. Immediately got it. Bam. Okay, here we go. It's happening. We need allies. Good relationship. I feel like we already have that, but... Uh, oh, 50 grand, huh? Okay, so things happened. You get a banner now, right? You have an undead trophy, right? You have a sash. Sashay away. And somebody up here didn't have the greatest amount of resolve. We were looking at them a second ago. Uh, well, you don't. Jeez. 
somebody would think was even lower. 41. But you got a dog. And I like you better. So why don't we put this on you? Doubles your resolve if defending against fear and mind control abilities. That's slightly different, but that's good to see nonetheless. Mind control, huh? Mm, fantastic. And uh, let's actually check out Red News. I haven't, I kind of, I kind of forgot they were a thing. Don't worry about it. Makes you see the position of some caravans at all times, even if outside your radius. Okay, that's not that great. Reduces the movement penalty of difficult to maintain to 15. That's not terrible. It's not terrible, but like... It's an extra four days, wow. Makes tavern rumors more likely to be used for information. Yeah. Okay, alchemy tools. Hundred percent chance of not communicating. Okay, like snake oil. Yeah. Mapping supplies pays you two more for every location discovered. Me. Yeah. It's covering up the tax. Increases repair speeds. What's up? Increases the amount of animation you can carry. Increases the amount of medical supplies. Me. Yeah. Covers all. Recovers a part of the ammo used during battle. That would actually be kind of nice. Recovers tools and supplies for every armor and destroyed. Actually, be pretty nice. Training dummies. So we get 20% more experience at level 1. 20% less for each one. That would actually be really nice too. Retired soldier, swordmaster, sell sword. Glad you're with a permanent injury in your company. Well, I have a sell sword, but it doesn't have a permanent injury. Interesting. Not sure what the injury part has to do with it. Makes men in reserve never lose mood from not paying. Oh, that's kind of nice too, actually. That actually would be really nice. But those two would be really nice. Triage table makes every man without a permanent injury guaranteed to survive. In other words, fatal blow makes every energy you take on the state of heal. That's kind of cool. Messenger's rest reveals available contracts. In active situations, to tip settlements no matter where you are. That's really nice. Some of these are really freaking nice. Sight range reveals extended information about footprints. That's pretty cool. That's more rounds of contract negotiations. Relations recover faster than matures. Reduce the daily rage of each man by 15%. Have a mercenary who is taking the paymaster. Guaranteed on peddlers, eunuchs, and servants. We might need to get some of these lower ranking people just to unlock some of this stuff. Increase the amount of trade goods for sale by each location. Okay, I don't care about that. Um. Movement penalty is kind of nice, actually. Oh, there's things here I think I'd rather get rid of. That's kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. Are we done here with the encamping? Not lost. Oh, there's someone dead. Not interested. Probably. What do we got? I mean, that's easy, but we need to go back to town and get paid. So let's do that real quick. This episode's gone on a bit longer than I thought. I feel like we're flying through the map now. Oh, 15%? Is that it? You sure it's not 50? I felt super fast. No longer has it in bush trade routes. All right, let's camp a bit for daytime. Situation's not looking terrible now, which is pretty nice. Though I feel like we might be better off just selling some of these things. I don't see myself ever using those. We should get that one as backup, but well, now they're paying much nicer for things. Uh, that. Let's sell those. Some of these things I'm actually trying to break down, so we'll keep. It would be nice if the icon stayed over, but you know, I guess that's just not how life works. No cart to sell me, we have a tremendous amount of food, even though most of it's probably gonna go bad. And uh, your tools are actually very 
well priced. You come on home with me then. I'm pretty happy with this. This is definitely where we're going to call it for today. Thank you guys for coming by. I appreciate it very much. It means the world to me that people come by to watch my content. I know episodes have not been coming out daily, and I apologize for that. I've just been kind of busy with real life stuff, and it's all good things. Uh, so I do appreciate everyone's patience. No one comes by and complains, and it really means a lot to me. I, I understand people get disappointed that the content doesn't come out. So thank you guys for being so patient. Like I said, you guys really are the best. It means the world to me that you come by. It's always great to hear from everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. Please take care. Stay safe, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.